children. Well, we are back this week with a new video. We hope you enjoy it as well. So this made Pharaoh even 
richer. As time went on, the, it, the, the drought did not happen only in Egypt, but it happened across all the different areas around Egypt. The people of Israel, that's Israel and his children, now were beginning to get hungry. They didn't have any more food. They needed food. So Israel said to his sons, go to Egypt. I heard that there's food there. Take some money and buy us some food so that we will not die. So the brothers got together, 10 of them got together. But the second thought, Israel did not let Benjamin go. So all the brothers went, the nine of them. They got there. They queued up like everybody else to get some food. And then Joseph saw them. Joseph recognized them. And he thought, hmm, I wonder if my brothers are still mean and horrible or have they changed their ways? He said to his um, servants, look, don't give these people food yet. Don't sell food to them. Bring them to me. So they took them to Joseph and Joseph said, where are you from and who are you? And they explained to Joseph that they were uh, sons of one man and they were looking for to buy food because there was drought in their land and they had us food here and that's why they came and that they were 12 brothers one is already dead and there was one left to their father so that's who they were Joseph said no you are liars you're telling me lies I, I believe you've come to spy out Egypt to find our weaknesses and invade our land. I will not believe you. I do not believe you. I'm sending you to jail. So they pleaded with Joseph and reassured him that they were not spies and that they only want to buy food so that their families will not die. Joseph said, okay, well, this is what I'll do. I'll keep one of you as a prisoner while the others go and bring back their little the, the Benjamin and if he sees Benjamin and then he will know they're telling the truth oh dear the brothers looked at each other that cannot happen because if they leave one behind their father's has to be broken if lost one brother one more brother and if they're going to bring Benjamin that's Joseph's second real brother it's not gonna Ooh, it's gonna break their father's heart. They didn't know what to do. So eventually They negotiated and Joseph let them go and said, okay next time when you come Bring Benjamin Otherwise, you will not get any food and he kept Judah in jail And they all went Back and he told Israel what had happened and soon Jacob and his large family were hungry again. You must go back to Egypt and buy more grain, Jacob told his sons. Only if we can take Benjamin with us, they said. Never, Jacob cried. Joseph is dead, Simeon is in prison, and now you want to take Benjamin away. We should all be put to death as spies if we don't, the brothers reasoned. Then Judah, the one who had suggested selling Joseph as a slave so many years before, spoke up. I promise on my life to take care of Benjamin, he said to Jacob. I will be responsible for him. Sadly and reluctantly, Jacob agreed and watched them all leave for Egypt. To their great relief, they were kindly welcomed and shown into Joseph's house. When after so long, Joseph saw his own brother Benjamin, he could hardly hold back his tears of joy. He ordered Simeon to be released and then invited them all to dinner. When they came back in nervously to sit at the table, they were amazed to find themselves seated in order of age. Their exact order. How could anybody have known? Benjamin was served with extra large helping on Joseph's orders. The brothers were full of thankfulness and relief. Their trouble seemed to be over. Soon they would all be home with fresh supplies of grain. The brothers started leaving. Just as they were leaving, Joseph said to them, before they get to the gates to leave Egypt, go and accuse them of stealing. 
and bring them back. So they got to the gates. Just as they were about to leave, the servants came in and stole! How dare you! We were so kind to you and nice to you, and you repay us by stealing from our Lord? How dare you! Steal! We, we did not steal anything! We, 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 we're so grateful for what? And then they opened, said, Come on, then open your bags, let's search it. And they opened their bags. Everybody's money was in it, and worst of all, the silver goblet was in Benjamin's bag. So they got angry and said, Look at it! And you say you did not steal. So we have to, all of you can go, but we're taking this one because he's a thief, we're taking him. We're going to lock him up. We're going to lock him up in jail. So they all, the brothers decided to go back to Egypt to ask for mercy from Joseph, which it was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Oh my goodness. Oh, Joseph was now thinking, are these people going to just sell their brother, let their brother go to jail, or are they going to find a way around it? Have they changed? And they all came back. They were begging Joseph and said, we were sorry. We did not mean it. We did not steal it. We, did not have, we don't know how it got to this. And Joseph did not hold himself anymore. And he told all the servants, go out, go out, go out. I need to deal with these people alone. And they all went out. And he said, no, don't be afraid. I am Joseph, the brother he sold into slavery. They were all shocked. You can't be, you can't be. And now they were petrified, thinking, wow, Joseph is going to lock all of them up in jail and throw the keys away. Joseph said, don't be afraid. You meant it for bad evil when you sold me into slavery. But God knew what was going to happen, was preparing a way and preparing me so that I could save my family when this drought came. So now I would like you to go to my father, bring him here, and every single member of the household, because this family has still got a long way to go, and it's going to be quite severe. It's quite severe. And then he prepared the horses and the caravans, and sent the guys with some servants to go and bring his father and whole family. Now, Joseph had every reason to hate his brothers. They treated him really badly and he'd been put into prison and sold as a slave and had all sorts of terrible things happen to him. Do you think he should what, have revenge? Do you think he should be angry with them? Joseph trusted God. He knew that God was with him all the time. Wherever he was, whatever he was doing, he did it with God's knowledge and knowing that God was with him. So he forgave his brothers. He realised that they changed over the years. God forgives us, and so we should forgive other people, and should never look out for revenge. In today's story, we see Joseph's brothers being invited back to Egypt. We thank God that he is a God of relationships. And this is part of their journey to getting back into relationship with their brother, Joseph. And that is what God wants. He wants us to be in relationship with other people. And most importantly, to have a relationship with him. So let us pray. Father, we thank you that you are a God of relationship and that you are a God of restoration. You like to get us back together. Help us, Lord, to remember this. And even when people have wronged us, they've done things that we don't like or they've hurt us, help us to be open to you working in us and in them to restore that relationship. Amen. God bless you. Bye.